Well, hello everybody, Jeff here back again. How about that, two live streams in one night. So I promised you when I was at Lowe's if I found anything interesting here at Home Depot, I'd let you know. So I did come across a couple of, of lawnmower deals that I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, but before we get to those, I wanted to show you this because I've been meaning to show you this the last two weeks and I kept forgetting every time I walked by the display to show this to you. So these are the new Ryobi Link storage boxes that they've gotten in stock here. So this is the medium toolbox right here, $54.97. So they're kind of cute looking. They, they almost look like Legos, you know, when you think about it. <laughs> and the reason why they have these on top is that's what holds all of the little, all of these things. These can hang on them if you want, you know, or these boxes could can hang on them as well. And, and I've showed you some of these other components of the Ryobi link system before. This one's new. We haven't had this one in here yet. So this is sort of the equivalent of the Milwaukee milk crate. Hello there, Alan. What's up, Jeff? Way back again. Yes, they do look like giant Legos. And Shane just checked in on the chat also. So that was the um, the medium-sized box right here. And let me see if we can show you the... Here's the other one over here. Uh, this is the mobile one right here. Now, this one doesn't look to be as tall as the... DeWalt it might be I don't know and I'm wondering if K Ketter is making these for for Ryobi just like they do for Milwaukee and Rigid and DeWalt as well you know any DeWalt deals yeah we're gonna show you a couple in a minute and then here's the smaller case right here let me see if I can pull this out here and I'm gonna bring it like right over here and just kind of take a look and see what we got here yeah so it looks like it comes already with a couple of little bins inside there and a bit holder. Look at that. A little bit holder built into the inside of the lid there. Landshark is in with us again tonight. And there's BW's Electric also. And Patrick did two in a row. Yeah, so these, I mean, they, they seem reasonably tough enough. One of these days I'll buy a stack of these and I'll do some drop testing off the roof like I did with the Milwaukee and the DeWalt. You guys remember when I did those videos a couple of years ago? Um, hard to believe it was two years ago. It was during the COVID shutdown. And this is an interesting one here too because, you know, a lot of people build their own on these kinds of things to hang the, the drills. But here you got it like all professional and everything for you. And look, it stores the batteries and all that up there. Oh, and my favorite light. I was using this today, actually. I have so many of these lights. We're going to be giving away a few more of those lights on our next tool giveaway. So I've been slowly, quietly acquiring all of these things. And then, you know, I wish they had had... Um, I mean, 99 is not too bad a deal. But I wish the, the HP batteries would have been at a, at a decent deal during uh, Black Friday. So let's take a look at these lawnmowers. Now, these are probably about as cheap as they come, folks. I wouldn't expect a whole lot out of these um, these lawnmowers over here. Now, when I walked in here the other night, these Power Smarts, see, see it says 169 right there? So that's what it said on there when I walked in the other night. And just since then, they've already changed the sign on it down to 119 So $50 cheaper. So if you're... Somebody that you need a lawnmower and but you just don't have any money, you're short on funds, oh, this is it right here. If you have a small yard and your requirements aren't very much, and these are push mowers, these are not propelled. You're not going to get propelled at this price range, unfortunately. And then they have another model, and I was kind of looking at the boxes, and the boxes look like they're saying the exact same thing. So I have no idea what the difference is between this model and that model. And what makes this guy, they're both 144 cc's. But anyway, so this one, when I came in the other day, was 189 see? And it is down to 139 now. So both of these models are $50 off. And Landshark says, I get my neighbor to mow the lawn. That's the way to do it. Oh, they're playing a great song right now, dude. A classic from the 70s. Moonlight Feels Right from Starbuck. Star, wait, Star, I think that's the group, Starbuck. All right, here's another one that was 179 down to 119. Now, this one's a smaller one. This one says 127 cc, so the other one was 144 cc's. So, there you go on that there. Hello, Marauder. Man, haven't seen you in a while. 
Marauder just checked in. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, I looked on the OPEL, there was nothing there, so I'm not going to waste any effort on it. But I can tell you what I do like about coming in this late at night is they're bringing out all the stock. Like they just set everything out here like this on pallets, all the stuff they're going to work on overnight to put out. So that's sometimes when I discover new items. So I'm heading down there now towards the tools. And we're going to see what we got. There's a little bit something that's kind of caught my eye over in the construction aisle earlier. And it's a, a, the Husky, the, the rolling Husky storage things. So I have a suspicion that maybe they're going to be coming up with another sale because they're, they're just starting to collect in a bunch of them. So um, those two Diablo things I wanted to show you. So we had this deal here. So it's a six piece spade set, but they're throwing in two more for free and you're getting them for $9.88. That's a decent price, but uh, you know, there's no pouch or anything. Um, but I prefer the ones that come with the canvas, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, that's the one I got. I got it when it was the Bosch Daredevil. Um, so you got this kit here. Um, this is the, is it 44 teeth? I think both of them are 44 teeth. Yeah, so there's two of them. Not really that impressed with the price. Because remember when we showed you the DeWalt deal that they had over at Lowe's, where it was down to like 29 bucks for an 80, I think it was like an 80 tooth and a, and a 30 tooth. So they're pulling out all of these things here and they're getting ready to stock. But I don't see anything new on, on these here. Nothing. There was one thing I wanted to find out. Um, I, I thought I remembered that this was 129 when it came in, and they've got this is sitting at 71.98. So I don't know if it's on sale or not. So this is the the cantilever mounting rack for Dewalt. Here, let me kind of show you. And I know I've showed you this when they first came in a couple of months ago. So there are these cantilevers that mount on your garage wall like this, and you can put like the ladders and stuff on there. So this guy right now is saying $71.98, but I was pretty sure these were priced at like $129 when they came in. This one I don't see a price on, but last time I checked it was like $229, and I paid $169 from Ace Hardware when they had it on sale in January, and I had it ordered and shipped to my house. Here is the DeWalt 21 degree framer. I showed you this at the Pembroke Pines Home Depot first a few weeks ago, and it doesn't look like the price has dropped below the $187. We've seen these as low as 169 on Black Fridays, like two or three years ago. We saw that, right? Here's your bandsaw. Down at 299 from 329. Still nothing, nothing groundbreaking there. Um, oh, is this the Mandori? Yeah, I would buy this, except I've already got like almost a dozen of these in my attic. Because every time they, these drop down, or like uh, I, I bought some on clearance for like in the 20s. But the Manduri faucet is kind of cool because see that right there? There's an LED on it that comes on when the water flows. It gets its energy from the actual flow of the water, which is really cool. Like a, what do they call it? A hyd hydroelectric dam type thing. And they still got this thing. I've been watching this guy. He's still sitting at 49.97 there. And Land Shark says, I can afford the tools, but can't afford the lumber. Oh, you know it, man. We picked up, we picked up today a 1x8 that was 8 feet long. It was pine. It was like the better quality pine because we were doing a, a piece of wood over the bar to put the granite on. And that thing was 25 bucks, guys. Insane. Totally insane. Uh, they don't have a price on this Ryobi. Should I get this for Shaka? Let's see. We gotta send him one of these. And oh, the LED color changing flat panel here. This is still a lot of money, guys. Because look at this. Well, I, yeah, I get that it's color changing, and it's eighty-five dollars. Let me try to turn it around for you. Oh. Okay, but the one at Costco right now from Artica is thirty-nine dollars. It's on sale this week. So y'all let her go over and get that one instead. This is the kit that I prefer. This is what I got 
back when it was called the Bosch Daredevils. And here it's the Speed Demon. Um, but see how it comes with a canvas kit? No, I don't know how much they're asking for this. But this 16-piece set at Black Friday used to go for about 20 bucks. And then I got it on clearance for like 15 or so after Christmas. Oops. That was right before... Hold on. It was right before uh, they got rid of the, the Bosch. They started closing out of all of the Bosch. So we got the black and golds here down to $18. The DeWalt black and gold drill bits. And again, look, they're doing more Craig stuff over here. Now, I don't know what the original price was on this guy. On that hardware jig. What do we got here? So we got some of the, the impact protection reinforced durability gloves. Down to 23 bucks. What's up there, Joe S? Joe just joined us in the live chat. Um, see, a lot of times you come into Home Depot and Lowe's, you come find their clearance section, and you're going to find a lot of these things. You know, come come get your stuff here. The the if you're looking for a new shower head, and even if you're not, hey, maybe you'll see a price that you like or something. And usually, about 15 dollars off is about as low as they go on these. Okay, and let's see. This might just be misstocked. There's no price on it. PL, dude. I was just using some of this today. Let me see which PL they got here. This is the Mirror Marble and Granite. Hey. Well, I'm, the Granite guys will bring their own. So we're having the Granite installed at that big uh, kitchen project we were working on. That's coming up on Tuesday. So we've just been in a holding pattern. We've, we're done with the cabinets. We've been just waiting. They, they came and did their template with lasers last week, a couple of weeks ago. And what have we here? Look at this, guys. So you got 125 amp service. Okay. And is this thing right? Wow, down to 59 bucks. Man, so this is in the Coconut Creek store. For any of you guys who are electricians, hey, BWs, you, you probably know whether that's a good price or not on this. We just had to pay um, a, a friend of ours from church uh, 2,500 bucks. For an electrician to come and they did it with permits and everything but she had a problem with loading on hers because of the way the builder set everything up and it was burning it burnt the bus bars and they were using those quad pack breakers which is a known i mean you shouldn't be using those the problem with those is the yoke only has two points right so you're drawing more current across those two points and th the thing just caught fire on her eventually uh, a couple of weeks ago so yeah uh, 2500 bucks is what it costs now to have somebody come change out your puny little load center. When I had it done in one of my condos, because we had an old Zinsco about 10 years ago, it was only $1,300. Okay, no more DeWalt there. That was the last there. I want to show you those Huskies I was telling you about down here. So, all of a sudden, about a week or, or yeah, maybe about two weeks ago, they started bringing in all of these Huskies here. Too many, I think, for there to not be a sale coming up. Let's see. So these are the 46 inch. They're all saying 429 now, but they might be saying something else later. Ah, uh, here's the Milwaukee one. Um, I don't know what they uh, they were asking. I think was it 7.99 or 8.99 last week. I kind of like this right here. That's pretty classy looking right there. That's their bottle opener. Oh, they're telling us the store's going to be closing soon. Okay. There was something else I want to show you around the corner that I came across. And I think our Husky pads are back too. Those knee pads, those are... They're not like knee pad knee pads. It's just a, a mat that you rest your knees on. And I'm going to see if there's more of these. Yeah, these are all the black and golds that we looked at already. And those would be coming up here. Oh, so look at this. So they're doing the uh, the clearance on this Husky organizer right here. The 15-inch Pro Tool. But I don't know if that means it's this, if it's this one or not. I think these are, yeah, the 18, 15, and 12 combo. That's actually here. So he belongs here. I want to find out where this one is. I don't know if there's any left because right now the shelf is empty on it. But look at that score right there if you can find one, guys. 
So, he belongs right here. Right here. I just got to find a few. Maybe there's one somewhere around. So, I have a Husky. I have this bag right now, the plumbing bag. I'm looking to get rid of mine because this thing sucks. It, it, like, it broke right here, like the fourth time I used it. And they have a beautiful Milwaukee bag that I saw in the back down here. But the problem is, is it's too small. I'm like, why doesn't Milwaukee make a plumbing bag as big as that Husky bag is? So let me show you the, uh, the Husky pads. They're back again. And they're 1488 again. See it right here? I was just using mine today. And I love this thing because I don't like using knee pads. These are great. These are knee savers, guys. Oh, what a comfort to be on. Especially, you know what? If you have to work under a vanity, you throw this half on the floor and half on the vanity. And you can lay across this without the, the corner of the vanity digging into your ribs. You know what I mean, those of you who've done that. Who've worked on those before. Where's that bag? Oh, it's over here because it's a pack-out bag. And... You see, it's almost as big. I mean, it looks kind of nice, but man, why don't they have a 20-inch version of this guy? And the other thing is that, see, I don't see a saw storage on here. That the one That is the one good thing about the Husky bag is there's like a pouch on the side that you can slide your little PVC saw into there. That's a great handy spot to put that thing at. Yeah, I know. So... I don't see them bringing down anything new that I didn't see before, but a lot of times, man, you come in at this time of night, that's a new display. They just put that out. So sometimes I'll come in here, and that's how I found those DeWalt tape knives. Remember that? That three set of the tape knives? We gave away a bunch of those in one of our giveaways, I think, like in December. I'm going to check and see if they added anything over here. Let's see if anything dropped in price. I'm always checking these DeWalt's. The, the workbench. I was using this one today at my friend's house too. But that's still 99. They haven't dropped the price on that. Oh, Shane says, I have the 20 inch Milwaukee tote. I gotta find one. Uh, oh, look at this man. I'm going to Disney World on that savings. <laughs> okay, now. When I came in here last week, and then I went up to the Boca store also to try to find this 23 gauge. Remember I told you we couldn't find them anywhere? The Coral Springs, uh, the Home Depot in Coral Springs, I was over there earlier in the week. I think it was on Monday I was in there, and they had three of these sitting in there. And I was like, well, dude, we needed it last Friday, you know, day late and a dollar short. A ship arriving too late to save a drowning witch. Oh, Shaka's back again. Two dollar super chat. Thank you for that, Shaka. And he says, so very surprisingly, guys, Ryobi tools are trash. What? This beautiful sea of green that was just put up for you? I wanted to show you this bottle over here because this is an interesting story. If you buy the other version of this, see, this is their newer one, the 600 PSI sprayer. If you bought the older one like I did for like 79 bucks, it didn't come with this, but if you went to Walmart and bought the Heart version, which is made by the same company, um, the Heart version came with this. But here, they're selling it separately, $30. Now, don't get misled by the title. I mean, it says on here, uh, foam blaster. This is not a foam cannon. Don't think you're gonna get that thick shaving cream, snow foam, soap thing like we get with the real foam cannons. This is a good product. It does spray on like soapy, sudsy, whatever on your car and it's okay, uh, but it's not a foam cannon. So those of you that are really into the, doing your, those car washes and you like to foam cannon the car first uh, with the foam, this is not it, but it's still a good um, little foam blaster for you to use as a homeowner on your on your car washing it um, because to use the, anyway to use a a real soap cannon you have to have like 1500 psi behind it so so that that's not this this is made to be used on here so if you were going to buy the two if you were looking between the two ones okay from ryobi this one is 600 psi the one that only does 350 which is a joke is only 75 bucks so 
You can either get this one or you you can get the DeWalt version that is like 550. See, here's DeWalt's right over here. And DeWalt charges 149 for it. Tool only, and it's 550 PSI. I have the DeWalt one, I like it better. It's more reliable. But since I bought my DeWalt 2100 PSI machine at Christmas time, I haven't really used any of these guys, even though it's electric, but it's it's got more power. This is it here. This is the one I bought, and, and we're still working on the tool review, by the way, guys. I'm sorry, I know I'm running behind on that with all these other projects I've been doing, but I'm, I've got it all filmed. So at least I'm gonna start working on the production of the video for this one. So this one's 2100 PSI, and this is made to be used with a soap cannon. All right, and then uh, I wanted to show you that DeWalt tripod light, because I was telling you about it when I was standing over at Lowe's. So some people were telling me last week, they were like, oh, I don't believe it, you're lying, that thing's not 58 bucks, there's no way, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm gonna show you coming up right over here. And let's see, Juan just sent us a $5 super chat, thank you. He says, Jeff, thanks for the information at Costco. I bought the DeWalt, oh yeah, yeah, the ratchet set. As in, both of those kits are nice. So here's the, the tripod light here, right? Now the normal price on this is 229. That's what it says up on the shelf. And, but, but yet for some strange reason, I don't know if that's like 50 bucks off here and I gotta check, I gotta bounce those numbers off of the model and off of what it scans in at and everything to make sure everything's lined up. But I'm telling you, some of the other Home Depots, guys are reporting back to me, they're getting these for 58 bucks. There wasn't any in our region at that price, so that's one of those deals where even I couldn't get my hands on it, but you, you know what I'm talking about. So we are serious on those. And I'm looking to see if there's any more of those those uh, those little Ryobi LED area lights, because we have a we have like um, four or five more packages of those to give away. And let me see, any deals on the miters? I see nothing, nothing. Uh, they did drop the sliding miter here, the rigid down to 329, but I think they did this earlier, like maybe, no, this happened on um, February 23rd. I think it happened on February 23rd. So they dropped it down to 329. Now they don't have one sitting up unless it's this one. Sometimes you gotta be careful because a lot of times the tags are outdated compared to the model that's sitting up there, but it might be this one. Because it looks like it, it's on the miter. So this was $3.99 here, see? So you got it right there. And Lord Bog says, I saw at my local Costco, they had a non-sliding metabo. Yeah, we showed that on the live stream from Costco last night. I think they're I think they're telling us that they're closing. The music stopped. Nope, music's still going. I think they they got a few more minutes, but anyway, I think I've covered everything here. This is a great set. And I don't know if there's gonna be any of these around like for, for the price to drop on them, but I like them because look how giant the symbol is on the back end of these. The Phillips or the flat it tells you what kind of driver you're getting. So that's what I really like about this set. I have one at home. I just picked one up a few months ago when it landed. And I wish to heck they would drop the price on this already. I still haven't seen a, a good deal on the hacksaw. I love this though. I got mine, I use it. It's a great tool. Let me see if they got anything else. We've showed you all of these other ones here. Now the rocket's down to 199, but you know what I always tell people, don't buy any of the rocket lights unless there's a buy one, get one going on with the battery kit, like at Black Friday time, and sometimes um, Father's Day. All right. So unless you really, really have to get it, if you can be patient, you just wait. There's always going to be a buy one, get one with a, you know, you buy, with a battery starter kit or something. So this guy is down to 159. And by the way, the one problem I've always had with the Milwaukee Chargers is the LED should be on the front, not in the back. Because when you put a battery on there, the battery obscures your view of the LED, so you can't tell whether you made contact. And a couple of times I've walked away and it wasn't charging, and I was like, oh no. Mm -hmm. And 
Mike says he's good. He's loading up on ammo. I don't know, man. I'd like to go over and uh, capture Putin and bring him back here to stand trial. All right, what do we got? Any, nothing, no HPs. I keep, you know, I just keep looking out for HPs. And that, oh, that's the random orbit seeing there. That's not right. Why is that? That looks more like the, the buffer to me. They're calling it random orbit center, but that looks more like the auto detailing buffer to me. But that's one I want to get my hands on too, because I'm sick of my old corded one that I have. I'm, I, I'm sick of draping the cord over my shoulder, and these empires are running out like very rapidly at 1097 for two. They do these every year. Every year when they do this, and actually in the previous years it was 997, so it went up a buck. It went up a buck, but these are great. I was using two of these this week doing the cabinets, and I was using one today when we were leveling the bar, getting it ready for the granite that's coming on Tuesday. You see that? Uh, let's see. Anything else? What are they doing here? The Husky Light. So these are down to 1206 from 1462. This is the light here. And, oh, you know what else? On our next giveaway, we're going to give away some more of those Milwaukee little, the little rafter squares. And these are the new 512s. So I would not recommend these uh, because you can't plug them in. They're not dual power like the 511s were. So we're giving away one of the 511s of the next tool giveaway also. I have uh, one that I picked up at Lowe's, I think, uh, two weeks ago. So anyway, that's it for this one, folks. So thanks again for joining us twice in one night. And I hope you found this useful. And make sure you're subscribed so you'll be alerted whenever we come up with more and more uh, clearance deals. Some of these deals that we, we're going to show you uh, coming up, you know, they can only last for hours. Or, or, you know, as soon as people start finding out about it, you get all these resellers that start driving up and down the state, hitting every Home Depot and Lowe's out there. And, and they start snapping all these things up. So anyway, there you have it, folks. Again, have, have a great weekend and happy shopping. And we'll see you on the next one.